Welcome back to Chris Swift Studio. This is Chris, and today we're going to be talking about using the stabilization function in, in uh, Final Cut and how to stabilize those shaky shots. Here's a very shaky shot of the hills behind Phuket Town in Phuket, Thailand during a, a street fair. The thing's really pretty much all over the place, obviously handheld. So this might be a real good candidate to try a little stabilization. So you take a look over here. Uh, you'll see your choices. Just click on the box to get it blue to activate uh, the stabilization function. And you have three options here, automatic, inertia cam, and smooth cam. I guess about nine times out of ten, automatic will just be the way you want to go. Uh, Final Cut will just analyze the shot and figure out what the best algorithm might be to smooth it out a little bit. In any event, you have three sliders, trans, uh, translation smooth. Translation is basically uh, motion in a line. And rotation, pretty obvious, and scale also. Your second option is, at least in version 10.1.3 that I'm using, something called Inertia Cam. Uh, now, this is essentially going to be most useful uh, for shots taken on a tripod. I know, you might ask, why would you ever want to do that? Because you shot it on a tripod to start with. But, you know, if you've used a tripod or even a slider, uh, there are some times where you're going to get little little tweaks and little glitches and stuff like that if the camera isn't fixed to the head of the tripod strongly enough and you do something like a pull focus and it just moves a little bit um, yeah inertia cam is probably your best option um, now when you do shoot on a tripod obviously it's going to be real still pretty still uh, to begin with when Final Cut detects that this will become active called tripod mode when your shot is pretty still to begin with anyway. Click on the box and it will pretty much lock the shot down, uh, you know, like a ton of bricks. And your third option would be smooth cam. And again, you go back to trans, uh, translation, rotation, and scale adjustments also. And I'm going to choose uh, automatic. Let's just play with those three sliders. Uh, now... This shot is just kind of a mess. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the translation smooth and I'm just going to ramp it up a little bit. And you can see as I ramp it up, the image zooms in. So this is pretty much what you're going to have to live with when you do any stabilization uh, with any uh, with any particular program, including third-party commercial plugins. It's going to zoom it in a little bit, so you've got to be aware of that when you're doing your shooting. So I'll do that, and then what I want to do is just kind of play and... Uh, you can see a couple of times, maybe I hope you can see it on the video, that uh, it kind of blurred there, 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 there. It blurs a little bit, uh, more obvious in the background. Uh, and this is something you just can't help. At some point, and it doesn't matter you know, how much money you've spent on a third-party plug-in for stabilization or use uh, Final Cut's built-in stabilization software, at some point it's just not going to work. You know, I mean, if it's like this shot is just really shaky. Um, and I can't fix it, really. So just kind of live and learn. Uh, but if it's just a little bit of shake, uh, the built-in stabilization final cut is really good. It's, it's really excellent. But check out the, uh, the real expensive um, third-party plugins as well. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.